the floor, but see what Chris Mitch does. And Chris Paul does make the free throw, and Chris Mitch does use the timeout. Well, Carl Anthony Towns and Devin Booker, they are very good friends, former Kentucky Wildcat teammates. And they have both come to play for the respective teams here tonight. And they both saved their best for last. Heating up in this fourth quarter. 35 points for Carl Anthony Towns. 13 rebounds to go along with those points. And Devin Booker has just been cash money. They both have played so well here in the fourth. Chris Paul. I mean, it was just classic Chris Paul. He's been saying it the entire game. He, when he was scoreless and only had two points, just kind of wondering when the gong is going to go off. And when the fourth quarter started, that's when it went off. Because he had two at the end of the third. He's got 21 now. Booker's only had eight in the quarter. I mean, he's he had 20 at the end of the third. But it's been Chris Paul that's done all this damage. DeAndre Aiden's played a wheel of a game in his first game back. He's missed six games this year due to a, the leg contusion. He's got 12 rebounds as well. Chris Paul, in addition to his points, has two assists in the quarter. See Devin Booker's quarter by quarter numbers. From I mean, Towns. You got a 19.1 you got a here. Yeah, obviously, you're you're down three. If you miss this shot and you have to foul, then you're going to probably be down two possessions. But this is going to be a shot for either D'Angelo Russell or Carl Anthony Towns. Unless somebody falls asleep, Jim, and you pre you're presented a layup, there's enough time you you could still take the two. But can't foul Chris Paul. Russell, oh, there nice. you go. You're presented a layup, so you'll take it. Now you try to get a steal, and if you don't, then you got to commit the foul. And Monty Williams had two timeouts remaining, so he's going to advance the basketball. Very well executed by Minnesota. Yeah, 19.1 was definitely enough time to still be able to take an easy two if you had that chance. Chris Finch uh, drew up a couple gems in Phoenix when Anthony Edwards had the 42-point game. Again, they're switching. Jay Crowder wanted Cam Johnson to switch. And Cam Johnson felt like D'Angelo Russell was going to pop until Jay Crowder would deny. But the curl move by D'Lo that time was the answer to the test. You know, if they're going to switch like that and you quick curl, it, it forces confusion. And that's exactly what happened. I don't know if Chris Finch drew that play up like that, or if D'Lo made a read and decided to make a counter cut. But in any event, whether it was drawn up on purpose or D'Lo had the basketball IQ to counter the switch, it was a well-executed play, and you're right. Now we've got a one-point game, 17.8. It would be really nice if you could deny the catch to Chris Paul and make somebody else catch the basketball. And if you could stop Devin Booker to catch, too, well, you, 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 first and foremost, you'd love a steal. But if you can't get a steal, you'd love it not to be Booker or Paul to catch the basketball. Complete switching lineup right now. Jaden McDaniels is going to tiger the basketball, which I think I'd rather have him be center field trying to switch. They get it to Booker in the backcourt. And D'Lo quickly commits the foul. So Booker's going to walk to the free throw line where he missed his last free throw attempt. He started 12 of 12. He's 12 of 13 in the game. 84% on the season. No timeouts here for the Minnesota Timberwolves. So it's 16.1. Whatever they do, they're going to have to take it out of bounds on the baseline and run it up the court. So. Luckily for Minnesota, there's plenty of time. But Booker misses. misses the first. Wow. So now, now you, you have need, options. Now at worst, you're going to need a two to tie and a three to win. And maybe you get really lucky and you only need two to win. And Booker's having some time to think about it right now as the teams shuffle in and out their lineups. You have all of your secondary break actions that you can run in these situations, whether it's pistol, whether it's kind of drag screens. You, you might have a special situation play that you have in this full court situation. 
Booker rattles home the second, so two to tie, three to win for Minnesota, or at least three to go in front. Towns for Edwards. Back to Russell, open look for the lead, can't get it to go. Edwards gets it, and then gives it up. The crowd was ready to explode when the ball made its way into the hands of Anthony Edwards. D'Angelo Russell peeled out of there, set the fake phantom screen on Anthony Edwards. He peeled out and was wide open. Ant trying to do two things at once. And we and saw it early in the game, Jim, in the first quarter. He had a pass thrown to him, and it, was, it skipped on him a little bit, but he took his eye off of it because he was thinking about what he was going to well, do with it. And I, th I think he felt like Minnesota needed a three, and, he, and they just needed a two, and so he was trying to get back behind the line. Crowder makes the first, so this next one is ball game. If he makes this one, it's going to be two possession. There's nothing the Wolves can do. If he makes it, then you figure Monty Williams. I mean, if you if he misses it, it's. I mean, the only thing that you can like the long pass is the thing. Like you know, obviously, if he makes it, it's over. Or you're right. So you just make the free throw. But misses Beasley from way, way, way downtown, and that it's going to yeah, be all over. she wrote. It's too bad. Minnesota deserved a better fate in this game. They played with such heart. It's really all you can ask for from your team, Dave, to play this hard, this well. 21 turnovers, though, in the end, Jim. That's, Killed you. that's what did in the Timberwolves, 21 turnovers. And, I mean, they held the Suns to 37.5% shooting. Yep. They only shot at 35.5% themselves. And a deflating win for the Wolves, who've now lost six consecutive games on their home floor here in downtown Minneapolis. Don't go anywhere. The post-game edition of Wolves Live coming up after this timeout right here on Valley Sports.